Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So in this video, we are going to discuss some media which are used for pathogen testing in say pharmaceutical or food or cosmetic industry. Okay, so this is the list of media that I'm going to discuss in this particular video. Okay, so this video is going to be a little bit lengthy, but this is important. So I'm trying to cover everything in just one video. So do watch this video till end. So now let's start with the first media that is R2E. So what is the actual name of this medium? It is Reasoner's 2A agar. Okay. These are the ingredients grams per liter. So this is casein acid hydrolysate, then as yeast extract, protease, peptone, dextrose, soluble starch, dipotassium, hydrogen, phosphate, magnesium sulfate, sodium pyruvate agar and then the pH is 7.2 plus minus 0.2 okay so let's see the principle and the interpretations for this particular agar that is R2A agar so in pharmaceutical industries when you have to test the distilled water and the tap water raw water you do a standard plate count using R2A agar now this is actually used this particular media is actually used for estimating the number of live heterotrophic bacteria in water it is recommended for estimating the heterotrophic plate count by pore plate or spread plate or membrane filter procedure depending on uh, what the protocol or sop you are following in your industry this can change uh, some can use pore plate some can use membrane filter procedure now R2A agar is actually formulated uh, as per Reasoners and uh, Galrich and the stressed or injured organisms during water treatment are unable to grow on high nutrient media. That's the reason why low nutrient media such as R2A agar is used and it is incubated for longer incubation periods which allows these injured or stressed microorganisms to grow well now many bacteria from natural waters uh, which contain limited nutrients at ambient temperature they can grow best on this media with less nutrient levels now acid case that is the casein hydrolysate acid hydrolysate then protease peptone and yeast extract they provide nitrogen carbon compounds vitamins amino acids and minerals then dextrose or glucose okay it serves as the energy source now soluble starch you can see here soluble starch it aids in the recovery of injured organisms by absorbing the toxic metabolites byproducts while sodium pyruvate which is also added in this particular media it increases the recovery of these stressed cells okay then magnesium sulfate is a source of divalent cations and phosphates and dipotassium hydrogen phosphate is used to balance the pH of the medium and the number of colonies on the plate they are just reported as CFU per ml that was in uh, inoculated okay ml or it can be microliters depending on the volume inoculated so this is about r2a agar then next is pny agar now the composition is here you can see there is peptone yeast and yeast extract then dextrose potassium diso uh, dihydrogen phosphate uh, dipotassium hydrogen phosphate magnesium sulfate manganese sulfate ferrous sulfate sodium chloride zinc sulfate copper sulfate cobalt sulfate okay and the ph of this media is 6 or plus minus 0.2 now about the principle and interpretation of pny agar now uh, mainly this is um, used for lactobacilli okay so lactobacilli we know that they grow in a variety of habitats wherever high levels of soluble carbohydrates or protein uh, products uh, then vitamins or uh, low oxygen tension is present now these sites we, they are actually present in a human uh, body 
uh, if we compare you will find these kind of sites where everything like these conditions are present are like oral cavity intestinal tract then vagina and some food products and dairy products are ones which uh, give everything that is the soluble carbohydrate protein vitamins and low oxygen tension okay so that's the reason why pny medium is formulated for isolation and cultivation of lactobacillus species now peptone yeast extract okay uh, it provides the amino acids and other nitrogenous nutrients and vitamin b complex dextrose is a fermentable carbohydrate and the phosphates form buffering system while sodium chloride maintains the osmotic equilibrium okay so these are the phosphates you can see they form buffering system and the sodium chloride it maintains the osmotic equilibrium then other salts they supply essential nutrients for the growth of the organism that is lactobacillus okay so lactobacillus is mainly used for oh, sorry pny agar is mainly used for lactobacillus now next media is scda which stands for soybean casein digest agar compositions are as given very little ingredients you can see tryptone soya peptone sodium chloride agar is used now tryptone is the pancreatic digest of casein and soya peptone is peptic digest of soybean okay so the principle and interpretations of using scda now various pharmacopoeia they recommend scda as a sterility testing media okay not just sterility testing even in mlt i remember we used uh, scda media okay so it has been uh, also used in validation of sterility checking procedures according to the um, usp ep bp that is a uh, british pharmacopoeia european pharmacopoeia us pharmacopoeia okay now this medium is used in microbial limit test and antimicrobial preservation effective test okay the combinations of tryptone and soya peptone uh, makes this media nutritious by providing amino acids and long chain peptides for the growth of microorganisms now natural sugars of soya it enhances the growth of microorganisms sodium chloride maintains the osmotic balance now mainly uh, scda you will find it is used in mlt and then you uh, have to report the total aerobic count right so it is considered to be the equal of the number of colonies forming unit which are found on this particular media so just you report as cfu per ml or cfu per microliters now if colonies of fungi are detected on this media then they are counted along with the total aerobic count because we are just writing uh, noting down the aerobic count we are not uh, focusing on total fungal count we are focusing on aerobic count and thus everything uh, comes Uh, or everything gets counted it can be a yeast colony fungal colony or a bacterial colony now about sda which is saborot dextrose agar compositions you can see here dextrose is used then mycological peptone agar okay now this is mainly used for growing yeast and mold cultures and particularly useful for the fungi associated with skin infections okay isolating that then this medium is also employed to determine microbial contaminations in food cosmetic or clinical specimens mycological peptone it provides nitrogenous compounds then dextrose provides the energy source now high dextrose concentrations and low ph favors the microbial uh, sorry favors the fungal growth and inhibits the contamination of bacterial okay bacterial cultures in your test sample so you can see the ph is 5.6 which is little bit acidic and this favors the growth of fungi and not bacteria then next uh, is cta that is cystine triptych or triptychase agar compositions are as given here 
it has pancreatic digest of casein sodium chloride l cysteine sodium sulfate phenol red and agar now the principles principle and interpretation of cystic sorry cystin crypti agar the cystin and peptone they supply you can see this is cystine and this is the uh, peptone it supplies the nutrients which are necessary for uh, the growth of fastidious microorganisms then cta media it's it is supplemented with 1% of concentration 1% concentration of specific carbohydrates okay uh, and they are then used to detect the fermentation reactions as well okay biochemical reaction can be done when you add 1% concentration of specific carbohydrate now carbohydrate fermentation is detected by a visible color change uh, of the media due to the ph indicator that is phenol red okay then when the organic acids are produced and the media becomes acidified the acid produced by the carbohydrate fermentation causes the decrease in ph right causing the color shift of media from red to pink to yellow however the peptones uh, which are present in the media uh, they are also degraded by the bacteria present and it yields substances that are alkali in ph okay thus the addition of agar to the medium allows for the detection of motility as well along the stab line of the inoculation then the motile organisms they extend from the stab line if they are motile they will extend from the stab line and produce turbidity or cloudiness throughout the media whereas non motile organisms will just grow along the stab line and leave the surrounding media clear okay then next come msa which stands for mannitol salt agar so it is actually a selective and differential medium which is used for identification of staphylococcus aureus now staphylococci they are widespread in nature there are various species but still you can use msa to um, isolate them they are mainly found on skin mucus and membranes of mucous membranes of mammals and birds the composition is given as below proteus peptone hn hm peptone b which is equivalent to the beef extract then sodium chloride d mannitol phenol red agar and ph is around 7.4 now you can see here this is an inoculated plate so the color is something towards the red okay because we have added phenol red and when the staphylococcus aureus the culture grows on it so you will see the color changed is to yellow now about the principle and interpretation the most widely use criteria for the identification of pathogenic staphylococci is its ability to clot plasma now staphylococci they have the unique ability to grow on high salt concentrations so you can see here it is sodium chloride is 75 grams per liter right so high salt concentrations now isolation of coagulase positive staphylococci on phenol red mannitol agar uh, when it is supplemented with 7.5% of nacl it was first studied by chapman now the resulting mantor salt agar base is recommended for, for the isolation of coagulase positive staphylococci from say cosmetics food milk and other uh, specimens now hm peptone b that is actually the beef extract and proteus peptone they supply essential growth factors and trace nutrients to the growing bacteria sodium chloride serves as inhibitory agents for other bacteria then mannitol is the fermentable carbohydrate fermentation of this leads to the acid production which is detected by the phenol red now s aureus ferments mannitol and produces yellow color colonies surrounded by yellow zone coagulase negative strain are usually mannitol non fermenters and therefore they produce pink to red colonies surrounded by red purple zones okay so this was about msa next is gnb that is gram negative broth and compositions are tryptose dextrose mannitol sodium citrate sodium deoxycholate 
potassium phosphate sorry dipotassium phosphate and monopotassium phosphate and sodium chloride ph is 7 so this uh, media is actually developed to enrich uh, and for the recovery of salmonella and shigella from clinicals and non clinical samples now the tryptose from the composition it provides amino acids and other nitrogenous substances which support the bacterial growth the combinations of sodium salts that is sodium citrate and sodium deoxycholate is one which inhibits the gram positive and gram negative bacteria okay such as coliform not all but some gram negative bacteria they inhibit now the phosphates that is dipotassium and monopotassium they uh, serve as the buffering system and sodium chloride it acts as the or it acts to maintain the osmotic balance the higher concentrations of mannitol in this media uh, over the dextrose dextrose it limits the growth of protease okay protease is inhibited because the mannitol salt is more than the dextrose and it enhances the growth of salmonella and shigella now gn broth uh, it should be inoculated directly with the sample okay and after incubation of 6 to 8 hours and again you have to further incubate for 24 hours by subculturing okay so that you get uh, sure that what is actually growing in your media you don't get any false positive results okay so you need to subculture on a selective agar media for salmonella and shigella just don't uh, rely on these uh, gram negative broth next is rvs that is repeport vasiliadis soya peptone broth okay composition is uh, pepic digest of soybean meal sodium chloride potassium dihydrogen phosphate dipotassium phosphate magnesium chloride hexahydrate and malachite green okay the final ph is 5.2 that is slightly acidic now this broth is recommended for the selective enrichment of salmonella from pharmaceutical products now this media can be used in direct enrichment of samples containing low inoculum okay even if there are low number of salmonella cells present still you can use this media for the enrichment now present medium is modified of a modification of rapaport vasiliadis enrichment broth okay this is the uh, modified version and there is addition of magnesium chloride you can see this is the addition here now salmonella generally survives a little high osmotic pressure grows at slightly low ph you can see here it is 5.2 and are resistant to malachite green compared to the other bacteria that's the reason why the dye malachite green is present here these characteristics are exploited in this medium for selective enrichment of only salmonella now magnesium chloride present in the media rises the osmotic pressure natural sugars of pepic digest of soybean meal provides essential growth nutrients and enhances the growth of salmonella phosphate buffer in the media maintains constant ph that means it acts as buffering system sodium chloride maintains osmotic balance malachite green inhibits many of the gram positive bacteria and it rela uh, relatively the lower concentration of nutrients also aids the selective enrichment of salmonella that's the reason why we use rapaport vasiliadis soya peptone broth then further you can uh, subculture and isolate this on deoxycholate citrate agar okay or uh, xylose lysine deoxycholate agar for on the agar plate you can isolate salmonella and you can verify the next is Macon case broth ingredients are as gelatin peptone which is pancreatic digest of gelatin lactose monohydrate then dehydrated bile that is equivalent to dehydrated ox bile then bromocrisol purple is the dye and the ph should be 7.3 now Macon case broth is modification of actual Macon case medium now the inhibitory effects of neutral red we know that we add neutral red in the McConkey's agar and therefore the, it is substituted by the less inhibitory bromocrisol blue purple dye in the broth now BCP 
uh, is more sensitive that is bromocrisol purple is more sensitive in recording the pH variations in the medium okay and the gelatin peptone provides essential growth nutrients lactose is the fermentable carbohydrate dehydrated bile inhibits gram positive organisms bromocrisol purple uh, turns yellow under acidic conditions that's how you can detect the pH change lactose fermenting organisms turns medium yellow due to high acidity and the color change of the dye is observed when the pH of media falls below 6.8 okay then lactose non fermenting organisms like salmonella shigella do not alter the appearance of the medium incubation is carried out at 45 degrees celsius for 24 hours minimum 24 hours maximum 48 hours and for further isolation you need to subculture on macon case agar okay from this inoculated broth okay to verify your culture then growth of red generally non mucoid colonies uh, is seen and sometimes surrounded by reddish pre precipitation zone indicates the presence of coliforms in macon case agar okay on the agar plate so these were few media which are mainly used in pharmaceutical or food industries for pathogen testing i might have missed one or two here and there but i have tried to cover because you can see the value is getting a bit lengthy but i hope now you know about what type of media is to be used for which culture so do like my videos do give a thumbs up do share